Hi everybody, it's me Liz and I'm back at you with another review. Coming to let you guys know I got some new hair here. Well actually it's not new. I've had this hair now for, oh god, since before I bought my Jace Beauty. I had it in a bag, in the closet. I started going through my closet, getting rid of some old clothes because I'm starting to lose weight now. Thank god for that. And I come across this bag that I had in there and it was some hair. <laughs> So I took it out the bag and I said, I, can't, I couldn't remember when I bought it. And then when I looked at the receipt, it was like right around the time that I ordered my Jace Beauty. <laughs> so of course this hair came before my Jace Beauty. So, but I, I was so frantic and, you know, waiting on my Jace Beauty. I didn't do anything with this hair. So I put it back into the closet. So I decided to take it out today and well, not today, but last week and actually make a wig out of it. Now, this hair is from Rosa Hair Company on Ally Express. This is Loose Wave Brazilian Loose Wave. That's what this is, and this is in its natural state right now. Now, ladies, when I bought this hair, they were selling it in three bundle lots, okay? I bought two bundle lots because I wanted a full wig. Now, if you wanted to get nice fullness and everything like that, this hair does get pretty big in its natural state as long as you don't put too much product in it. It does get pretty big in its natural state, so you don't need, um, you know, more than three bundles if you want a nice, you know, full look. But if you want a delicious full like this, you're gonna have to get six. And this is what I have in this wig. I, I put six bundles of 22, 20, and 18 uh, in this. I'm not wearing a closure. Or anything like that this is my leave out you know in this hair I did not get a closure so that's what I pretty much did I made a U part wig with it and I actually really like this hair I colored the hair to a natural black now this hair is processed okay D don't let them tell you that it's virgin and blah 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 this is Ally Express we're talking about here, but this video is for us divas that are balling on a budget. You're not yet ready to spend that kind of money, you know, on these other hair companies, but you're, you know, you're a diva on a budget and you want to stay within your means. This hair is pretty decent. Now, I did take the liberty to go back on the website since it has been eight months since I bought this hair. I went back on the website and she's doing pretty good as far as positive feedback goes. She's around 96.2. So she's doing pretty good as far as positive feedback goes. And I've been one of those types to always read everybody's feedback, whether it's good or whether it's bad. You know, I always take into consideration whenever I see bad feedback, I kind of go, okay, you straightened it and it didn't move as much. I'm thinking to myself, did you have product in the hair? Maybe that's why it seems stiff when you flat ironed it or what? You know, this is stuff that I keep in the back of my mind when I'm reading feedback. So basically when you get, you know, Ally Express is when you're dealing with these companies, it's hit and miss. It is hit and miss. You know, sometimes you're going to get some good hair. Sometimes you're going to get some hair that you're not completely satisfied with. But so far, I've had this in for a week. And it's doing pretty doggone good. It, it hasn't let me down just yet. As far as shedding goes, it's moderate. Okay? I have been six bundles. So what would seem like a lot to you is not a lot to me. Um, I did seal my webs. I mean, I may get about 12 strands at the most. You got to remember, this is six bundles, where somebody with three bundles may get about six strands, okay? So you got to remember, I'm wearing twice as much hair as what um, some other people may do. And, you know, they may do three bundles. They may do four bundles. I'm wearing six bundles, okay? Because I wanted that delicious look like I do with my Jace Beauty. Brazilian hair is not as dense as Russian hair. So you got to excuse my autofocus. Focus. It's not as dense as Russian hair, so you're going to need a little bit more hair to give it that fullness that you can get with Russian hair. It, it, does that make sense? I mean, you know, it's kind of like, you know, this is the same fullness as my Jace Beauty hair. If you've seen my first video, I have in four bundles of the Wavy Curly. Well, to get that same density, I need a six bundles. Okay, well, if that, I hope that made sense. But anyway, so if you're a diva on a budget and you're looking for some nice quality hair you know and you don't want to pay too much you know for the for the hair 
she's got some really decent prices again the name of the company is rosa products i'll leave the link in the description box below her store is still up and running because a lot of these places if they don't make too many sales they kind of shut down and probably go under another different name but this one she's been holding pretty strong so I mean, I've seen some reviews here on YouTube about the Rosa hair. A lot of people have liked it and everything like that. I mean, it depends on you. It depends on what you're actually looking for. Again, don't go in there thinking that you're going to get Jace quality hair or Yummy quality hair. Because, I mean, this is a company based out of China. And these companies, when you're dealing with them, it is hit and miss. It really is. It's hit and miss but so far so good now next week what i'm going to do is i'm going to wash the hair and i'm going to straighten the hair and i'm going to let you guys know how it is as far as straightening the hair now as far as the texture goes it's really soft but it does have some type of coarseness to it excuse my autofocus again ladies i'm very sorry but it does have some type of coarseness to it okay it's not um buttery silky but it's not you know it's not super duper coarse either it has a medium low luster which is perfect i like that i don't have to put as much shine serum in my hair and i like the texture of the hair because all i had to do was blow dry out my um leave out and i didn't even have to flat iron it and just brush it down into the waves and pretty much all i did was just add some olive oil um moisturizing lotion in my leave out and just brush it into the hair that's all i had to do so it really wasn't that much work and pretty much what i do to it at night is just pull it back in a ponytail and braid it up and put it under a bonnet at night that's pretty much all i do i don't wet the hair down i don't do any of that i just wear it in its natural natural state now if you want the waves to pop you know you can add a little water and leave in conditioner mix okay i don't recommend just straight water i recommend just leave in conditioner as far as taking color it took color perfectly i dyed it to a natural black and it came out perfectly fine it didn't change the texture of the hair or anything so when you get the hair it's gonna look like it's been processed you know because it is processed i mean this is this isn't virgin hair I mean, it's going to look like a typical zigzag type of curl, but when you brush through it and uh, wet it down and let it naturally dry and then brush through it with a paddle brush, kind of like I did, this is the wave pattern that you get. It's pretty decent. I'm going to turn around and let you guys see the back. I don't know if you guys can see all that. But I know, I like it so far. I really do. I like this hair so far. But like I said, next week, I'll come back and let you guys know what it does, how it acts when I straighten the hair. And then I'll wet it down and let you know if the curls actually came back, okay? Because if you want some versatility in your hair, you're going to need to know what you're getting before you buy it, okay? So that's all I have for now. Stay tuned for an update in about another week. And I will see you in the next video. Bye!